Christ's sake. Continue campaign. Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You're smarter than achieved our objectives. Man's always gonna be better than. Unfortunately, you sustained life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? I like it when games have a good twist to it, good plot. Hey, you still with us? Welcome back. Hey. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it? Right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. Oh dear. 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program <laughs> several years. You're here to stop it. This is... This can't be... I'm guessing this is a simulator. Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. Ah. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. Oh, I can write. But you got a long way to go. Whoa, we. This another simulator. RPG! 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down. And they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. It's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you've been thinking about. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapons hot. the floor with these
Nice. Oh yeah. Soon I'll do uh, a just cause free gameplay as well. I can't do a guitar hero live. I'm sorry about that. It's um it won't let me record it for some reason. Seeing that it's blocked. So when I die, I don't really die. Oh crap. Concern this is a simulator. Shouldn't you be able to imagine that you got infinite ammo? Holy crap. What's that good hits? Tomorrow, I'm getting right. Xbox Live and you all that, and very replay. You may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. Try and get me now. See the red and yellow markers? They represent kill zones, not somewhere you want to be. I wonder what them la uh, these were. Intel? No. Change uh... Is that my health on? That's right. Ah, it must be. That might confuse me. Where's ammo box? Anyway. Oh, I like that. New indicator, so you don't really have to guess. It's not really hard though. 
if you come to think about it, throwing a grenade in somewhere, all you have to do is just learn where the gravity is going to take place and let it drop down. It's like a bullet in Battlefield with a sniper. Shouldn't really take long to learn him, but I guess it just depends how quick your mind can, uh, you know. Including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, five pairs, sophisticated ground units. Those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Let's get moving. Hijack a tower. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open. Ah, and the rock rockets. Oh, that's cool. My thoughts about Cold Air being more like Battlefield, because on Battlefield you can sort of do the same. Not completely. You can. Actually, yeah, you can sort of use the environment, because sometimes uh, Battlefield 4, the map with chain. It can have, uh, it has a few detonation pack, uh, cases around what can blow up the road and all that. Nice, chopper. So hacking into this is just easy. This is more like a portable tank in it. Oh yeah, how come they never made it? This is another thing. They never made it. it they never made Calder into third person as they said they were going to. They, well, it was a rumor at one point for Advanced Warfare, but it never happened. Not even multiplayer. Well, I don't think it did with multiplayer. But then, yeah, you know, if they sometimes, if you listen to like people, like doesn't work. If you think about it, people can have good ideas. So for GTA Five, why don't they have a AC one thirty or napalm strike? What you can, it, like, you can get a jet, and when you, and you can actually drop bombs instead of shoot missiles, and you'll do it quite a lot of times. Like, you know, you'll drop a few bombs. And it's near Come on, let's go. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Progress has been saved.
the hell? Huh. Yeah. This is. I'm actually enjoying. Oh crap! I'm dead. My so it's gone already. I sent you gone. Whatever. Wait. So. On Sunday, I might, I might play Conker's Bad Fair Day. Like, I'll do a walkthrough on that as well as, as well as I'm doing this. But I can't be too certain. You see, Matt, take time to download. Even though I've been playing Bored or so, uh, Bored Rare Replay from it, should, I think that I should really keep me safe. So that means I'm gonna have to end up doing it all again. So down his heel as well. Haha. <laughs> Shame I can't shoot through that. Oh crap, wrong button. Didn't mean to do that. Back in Ethiopia. <laughs> the grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shh. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. Technology. It's amazing. The real, if this stuff is real and real or not, it's still amazing. So they would have been able Star to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botch assault, man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. How come? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Yeah, it looks like I have to leave it here. So, I'll play it again tomorrow. I'll try and get it loaded today. But, I have to go now. So, I'll see you all another time. Hopefully, so hopefully you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. And, goodbye. Hasta la vista.